Hey, hi, I'm Angel. I want to give you a few tips on building a tire wall or building a structural wall with tires as your, uh, what, as your bricks. <laughs> um, I've built just a few structures now. This is maybe my, what is it, my fourth kind of structural structure with a tire wall. And it occurs to me there's some things I've learned, so I thought I might share them. I'm about to fill these with gravel and dirt mixture that I took from my roof because it needed removed anyway, which is different from what I've used in the past, which is packed earth. And um, the cool thing about a tire wall is it's very forgiving, very adaptable, very low-tech. Tires are, as Mike Reynolds liked to say, on every continent. Um, they're generally free and easy to find. If you talk to the right people, ask around. I happen to found, find a local tire shop that's willing to let me come pick out tires at my leisure, at my convenience. And uh, it's just right up the street, so that saves me a lot of time and hassle of rounding them up. So they make an excellent, basically a brick, either packed with earth or packed with you know, a mixture of stone and earth, and I'm going to insulate the outside and use that as my uh, basically foundational stem wall for a nice little sunroom addition out here, which I will then open up my bedrooms to. So, uh, something I've been dreaming about for a really long time, I'm looking forward to, but enough about that. Let's get back to some tips for building a tire wall. One of the things that I kind of alluded to is finding a good, a good source for your tires. It really helps um, to, to make some connections and find a convenient, easy place because um, there's a lot of parts of this project that take a lot of work and a lot of time and so you want to minimize you know, every aspect you can and if you can find a good connection for tires which um, you know, talk to tire shops. There are different rules in different places and different shops follow those rules in different ways. So uh, just look around, ask around, find a good source for tires. Then keep in mind, another tip is that the better you can match the size of your rows, the easier your construction is going to be row by row. Um, that's height-wise on the tread, not necessarily around, although that has a little to do with it, but less, you know, you're talking about width of 24 to 36 inches around, and so if it's, you know, 28 inches instead of 30 inches, that's less of a big deal than if it's, than if it's 5 inches high and 7 inches high, that's high, uh, harder to accommodate. So I would say try to match your rows by size, and then and then the, the flip side of that is don't worry too much about it. There's a lot of room to adjust by packing more, by, you know, lifting an edge with a stone. Um, and if you're going to do a load-bearing wall, I recommend doing a single pour concrete beam or a wood, single wood, you know, beam between your tire wall and your load-bearing beam. So it kind of um, accommodates for a whole lot of... Uh, imperfection in your in your level that said bring a level with you try to level every tire especially at the beginning um, it's worth taking the extra time to start off as level as possible so that's another tip and then kind of the flip side of that again don't stress over it too much there's gonna be quarter inch half inch variability here there everywhere but again keep aiming for that target of level and keep your level with you especially at the beginning, um, which brings me to maybe one of the most important tips that I was thinking of today, since it's the, tip, the part I'm on right now, which is to remove all the organic material from underneath your tire wall before you start. Start with a nice base. So not only did I have a nice, some nice organic soil here that I spent a lot of time building, so I might as well use it somewhere else, but also organic material will break down over time and can cause, you know, changes in in the environment that your wall is built on, and you don't want that. So, best to remove all organic material, including roots, including any bark. You know, that's all organic material. Anything that looks earthy, you want to get down to that just plain old brown, little to no organic material dirt. A little is okay, and that's kind of again the flip side. Don't stress over being perfect. Just get it 
close enough, good enough, right? So um, I like to, you know, remove that layer. It takes quite a bit of time, but you get the hang of it, it goes quicker, and then lay out my first row of tires and really get a feel for it because of the way I work, one of the reasons I like tire wall building an organic, what's called alternative construction so much is the flexibility that allows me to, um, you know, use some artistic flair. And for that, I like to lay out my line, kind of look at it in in the physical space because uh, that helps me. I, I have a hard time sometimes visualizing things from paper. So uh, those are my tips. Remove all the organic material, spend some time uh, leveling each tire and your whole wall. Hang on.